Ojo Kesilva. Hey, Adere ni Olufemi Adeyemi Edu. Indian name Rajiv Raja Oriki Akombi. <laughs> what do I really do? I can't place my fingers on it. I'm just a multitasker. Entertainment entrepreneur. Yes, I found it. Actress, producer, sometimes director, most times trainer. I am a wonderful disciplinarian. Yes, I have two younger sisters and they can attest to that. The Umba rubbish. I have a fetish for makeup and shoes. I am the voice of reason in my house. I really have to resist not buying makeup or shoes. But hey guys, you are eh, on. You're on. In the business of life, every tiny episode is a test and every human encounter is a lesson. One lady that I, I, I call you ageless, timeless, stainless and flawless. Hey! hey flawless only, mama! Only me! Thank <laughs> you! Mama J in the building, the show is on and of course um, it's all about bringing two people from, you know, I would say from different backgrounds, mm -hmm. different personalities, um, different outlooks, mm -hmm. but today we're spotting the same hairdo. <laughs> so we yeah, are evolving, right. we're revolving. Lady J in the building, we're on and you're on. <laughs> Mama, can you share me? Um, well, I find it interesting because I, what, what we're supposed to be discussing is something called mastering, mastering the, art. the art. Yes, and um, I and I'm pretty intrigued by it because I know you have mastered the art of mm -hmm. presenting and presenting in your own, you know, um, rather if the word is zany way, you know? Zany and spunky. I, yes, I, they're, they're not too dairy lays. You can't find too dairy lays. And for me, one of the things I've always been curious about was how, what made you come out with this brand? You know, everything about you. I mean, your, your platform is, you were saying, telling me that <laughs> I wore something like a light, you light. I would have broken my teeth if I went You rocked these time. shoes in those days. Nah. The clogs. Not in a million years. Did you not wear clogs? Clogs were different. Clogs <laughs> were like this, these wooden uh, thingy bobs with heels it's... about that high. Hmm. Come on. Okay. okay. And then, I, I would it, yes, platforms about that. But this one, hey. I call Uncle Lou wore shoes like this. <laughs> like, yeah. At some point in time. <laughs> yeah, no, my husband, <laughs> I know. Okay. So well, come on, how, how did you? Come up with well, it. I would say, uh, you know, still boils down to, you know, what we're talking about, mastering mm. the art. Yes. And um, this thing comes readily to mind. So a thought, you reap an act. Mm -hmm. So an act, you reap a talent. Mm -hmm. So a talent, you reap a character. So, so a character, you reap an identity. Mm. So overall, it's an identity that I've built. It's, mm. I'm not, I wouldn't say I'm necessarily doing it to arrest attention. Because mm. if I was, Auntie Joke, you and I would have gotten tired. <laughs> yeah. You know, you have your own unique way. You know, yes. you're, you're my screen goddess as mm. I always like to say that oh, thank and you. see you on screen your character interpretation is unequaled unparalleled and unrivaled thank nobody you. can beat you at that oh. Amen. Uh -huh. so no one can beat me in my own game too yeah exactly let's tell them to go and wear shoes <laughs> like this and carry hair <laughs> no, stand. It, it, yes but, but what was it what I, I mean why I mean there had been so many presenters and then you just come out to everybody and there's this hair the eyebrows there's mm. the way of talking as well True. And, and what's interesting about it listening to you dearly is that you, you see the package, okay, you expect a lot of excitement, but there's a lot, there's so many nuggets in mm. what you say. How do you, how do you come out with that? I feel like I'm with my therapist <laughs> right now. You have me all figured out. It still boils down to mastering the arts. Uh, I yes. sat out, I, am, I mean, originally when I kick-started my career, professionally mm. I started in 1995 wow. with Kiddy Vision 101. If you remember, uh, it is time yeah. for, yeah, I was yes. a loud mouth on that show. Yes. But by the time I got out, you know, I was going to get into university. I mm -hmm. wasn't up to 16 then, took up a mm -hmm. teaching job. So I would say the art of self, you know, independence started. Okay. I, it was all about self-realization and okay. self-actualization, which okay. is what I feel a lot of young ones, you know, need to, you, you need to find it. Mm -hmm. Which of course you found too at a very tender age. Yes, uh -huh. you so we have something that's, else in that's common. That's another common ground. Uh -huh. Yes. So I started out, you know, jumped into fashion. Didn't have mm. too many clothes, but I used to experiment with the few that I had. Yes. But I would say, the reception starting out for me was very negative. You know, the oh. reception was crazy. My lecturers used to walk me out of class. I went through a lot. But now I'm sitting here with you and yes. we are on, live and direct. Yes, live you and know, direct. But I have to ask you, mm. you know, because I can tell that you already knew what you wanted to, you know, you, the, the, you were, what you were jumping right on. Yes. Was it tough for you at some point? Did you have family say to you, ha ha ha? Hmm. Ah, joke. If you don't mind me calling you, <laughs> yes. My own Oriki is a combi. Yes. Ah, joke. 
mm -mm -mm. This okay. is not this is not what you need. Okay. You know what? I'll answer that question yeah. when we come back. You're on. <laughs> Yes, it's still on. We're on your own. Listen to learn and learn to listen. And right now, I have to ask Lady J, as I love to call you. <laughs> Remember, ageless, flawless, timeless, and stainless. Hey. Ain't it contour? <sighs> Uh, well, I mean, we have to talk about acceptance because, you know, mm. for mastering the arts, building a brand, kickstarting mm. a career, mm. acceptance is very key. Yes, And I is. had a lot of problems with acceptance yes. in a totally, would I say, a negative society like ours, if mm. I can, you know, use that. Mm. But for you, what was that journey mm. like? Mm. Well, yeah, let me just quickly um, say something that I'm not sure whether our society is negative as such okay. much, much as we would say we're really, we're just very um, gracefully reticent, hmm. you know. That I, I'd, I'd rather use that. Um, yes, when I started out, oh my word, it was, <laughs> <laughs> you know, because um, it wasn't as if there were no no women before me who were mm. who were um, performers. I mean, I had people like um, uh, Auntie Francesca Emmanuel, mm. I had Auntie Bidu Allison, I had late um, um, uh, Auntie Elsie Olushola. You know, they were all they, they were all performers. They they performed either as, as singers or as actors you know, on stage and, and on screen. But the, the difference with them was that it was, they didn't have a choice, it had to be a hobby. They had mm. a day job. I think the only person who actually um, followed it through as a career was Auntie Elsie Ulushola. Mm. All the others had, the, I mean, Auntie Francesca in Madrid was one of the biggest administrators that Nigeria has ever had. She was the mm. first ever um, permsec. I think okay. it was, you know, um, and then a uh, female perm sec that we would have. Um, you, um, Auntie Bidu Allison, if I remember rightly, was a banker. Do, do you understand what mm. I mean? So, you know, recordings at that time, we used to do it in the dead of night after everybody had finished work, gone home oh. to prepare food for husband, for children, and everything, and then they'd come to the studio and record. You know, wow. and then here comes this itsy bitsy <laughs> of like, something. Say it to every, ah, no, it is my profession. This is what I'm going to do. This is all I'm going to do. Mm. My father was like, no, it's it, no problem. You know, we'll encourage you as a hobby, but not mm. as a career. And then I come back, oh, dear, you boy, this world speaking all <laughs> guess, ever, 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 you know, and I'm like, no, it's not a hobby. It's a profession. The Yoruba sector of entertainment, for them, it was a profession, even though quite a lot of them too had day jobs. But, um, you know, to have somebody from the English, you know, uh, uh, side of the industry coming on and saying, you know, so that created a lot of tension initially. Mm -hmm. I remember once um, Uncle Steve's elder sister, Auntie Gloria, said to me once, she came to see a show and she said, uh, Joke, yes, you were brilliant, you know, but can you, can you survive on it? Mm -hmm. And I said, Auntie, I will survive on it in my life. People, you know, she was like, well, can anybody survive on this? Will this happen in your lifetime? I said, Auntie, in my lifetime, hmm. I will survive on it and people after me will survive on this, in this industry. And hey, we hey, are, hey. we are, you I know? Have, I have learned so much. You know, I must say this, if actresses were trophies, <laughs> you will be first place. But Thank you know, you. there was something I picked from all you were saying. Yes. Now, how do we draw the line, yes. you know, between arts for art's sake yes. and making money? Because we have to make money. Yes. But then, I mean, they, they saw key. it as some sort of hobby for you. Mm, so how yes. do we draw that line? No, my parents saw it as a hobby. hobby. But for yes. me, it was, it was a problem. A but, then, but then, like you rightly said, because we love our work, work. a lot of times we can do our work for free. And it's, there's a need for us to be able to see, yes, it's show business. So yeah. there's a lot of the show, show the hair, the shoes, the mm -hmm. this, the that. But then there's the business, business, and the business is very key. Now, for a lot of arty people, like, you know, as arty people, we just love our job so much. It's, that's why usually it's good to have an agent, somebody who, you know, handles, handles the business it. side mm -hmm. of things. Right now in Nigeria, it's a growing, it's a growing industry. Yes, it's a yeah. growing industry. A lot of the time, I don't know whether it happens to you. Instead of calling my agent, they're calling me. Uh, so they're calling I, us direct. <laughs> they call us direct, <laughs> and then you now have to now tell them. So your agent is not actually getting you the jobs. You're the one getting the, the get job, to, and then the agent is the one who does the negotiation. Mm -hmm. But um, I think also there's a there's a place for art for art's sake. Mm. Because when you're trying to develop something, like right now we're trying to develop something that we hope will make theater 
sustainable. Mm, sustainable. I'm working with a group of people to make, so there, you're not looking at the money. You're looking at getting all the structures right to make theater sustainable, not only for yourself, for those who are coming behind you. You know, so there's a place for that. But hey, excuse me, darling. The money is very important. The, the money is hey. so that we can always find the right shade of makeup. I, you love makeup. So I had a problem finding so the right shade. <laughs> but you know what, guys? We're headliners. We're yes. fashion killers. We're jaw droppers. We're globe yes. trotters. We are high rollers. We are oh. jet setters. You know, and there's still more yes. coming. We are slick talkers too. You know, but we'll be right back. It's still on. Hey, don't say, my my lo anywhere. Oh yeah,